The deciding game just started. We have our Terran versus Zerg. Game number three. Starting to the bottom left of the map, we have Zing Zing, who got defeated on Frost, but was then successful on Polar Knight against his Terran opponent. Starting to the top right, we have Avilo. Played a really good game in game number one, a very patient mech style, turtling up on three to four bases and then overwhelming his opponent. Game number two didn't really go all that well. Zing Zing able to delay that natural and even get an overload into position that spread creep while Avilo didn't have any anti-air units. So the delay on the natural and the potential third base was just absolutely incredible. And Zing Zing himself being on three bases got attacked by Avilo with siege tanks and a few uh, um, hellions. But was never really able to. Uh, Avilo was never really be able to take down that third base, and that was a big problem for him. So he decided to leave the game, GG out, since his army got defeated. The reinforcements with Zing Zing were just streaming in and with the roaches. He defeated the tanks. He defeated all the hellions. The army was gone. So a big problem there for Avila to make anything happen. And good moves by Zing Zing in game number two, tying up the score, brings us this third game right now. Let's see who's going to advance here. The WCS America qualifier today. And uh, looking down at the bottom left, what is Zing Zing going to uh, start the game off with? A hatch first, of course, going to be a no-brainer. But are we going to see a second hatch? I highly doubt it on a two-player map. But, well, I don't know. Might find uh, might find him playing this a little bit greedy. At least he uh, squeezes in a couple of drones. Moves out with another drone. Is he actually going for it? Or is he just trying to go for a scout up there? It looks very much like we are going to see the double hatch before pool again. Yeah, he's going for it. He's absolutely going for it. Double hatch before pool. And, well, what do we have for Avilo? We have a barracks and no gas. So, looks a little bit like we are going to see barracks into expand. I really don't like this build, to be honest with you. It's a build that was very, very popular in Wings of Liberty, but in Heart of the Swarm, I feel that other builds are just much, much better. I actually had a huge, like, uh, we had a lot of discussions with uh, Idra when we were casting the Aces ROG last year in 2013, and uh, he kind of agreed that he doesn't really think that Barracks into Expand is a build that is as strong as it was, and that there are just much better options for Terrans these days. And I kind of have to agree with that. At this point, with Reapers, there would have been a point in the game where Avilo could have done just much more damage. With an opening, just going a Barracks, Refinery, Reaper, and then into Expand, that could have done a lot more. But as is, with only a couple of Marines, it's very unlikely that he can do a lot. If he gets that Bunker up, on the other hand, he might be able to force that Cancel. And remember how I actually... Um, congratulated Zing Zing to his decision to get the third overlord over to the third base in uh, the uh, games against uh, against Protoss. Right now he doesn't do it and he's being punished. He's being punished for that lag. A second, yeah, this base is a goner. I do not see him hold this base with two additional SCVs committed to the attack. I do not think that he has any chance of actually saving this hatch. Not with the Queens, not with the Zerglings. There are two Marines, a third Marine is definitely going to get into that bunker, maybe even another one. There's going to be a double bunker and this base is going to die. I do not think he's going to hold that. I'm going to call it right there. Maybe he's going to pull off a small miracle, but I do not think that Zerglings alone, even with Queen support, can do that. Oh, maybe with all of those drones? That's going to be a very, very costly defense though. The SCVs are gone, and uh, that's a bit of a problem because he needs the repair. But yeah, how much can he actually kill? So the, uh, the repair is on, but now the full surround is there. And now he might actually be able to save it. The SCVs were just there way too late. And the question is of... Ah, uh, the Marines didn't get into the second bunker. Alright, he's gonna hold. Mar if the Marines get into the second bunker, I think he can kill all of those Zerglings at least. Yeah, but okay, that was a little bit unfortunate for him. The Marines not getting into bunker number two. That should have been better. That was not as good for Avila as it should have been. 500 resources lost against 100. That was actually horrible for him now. Those SCVs moving back and the Marines not getting into the bunker, big, big problem. If you get the repair off at the first bunker, you can hold it for a little bit longer. You can get the SCVs if you need to save them into the second bunker, then move them out on the other side and then put the Marines into bunker number two. So the execution here really lacking a little bit and that puts him behind by quite a lot of resources. Zing Zing should actually have lost this base in my opinion. Or if he saves the base, he should have lost a lot of the drones that he had to pull to save it. 
and as is, he only lost three, and that is nothing for the resources that Avilo committed to this. So that leaves Avilo in a very, very bad spot, and Zing Zing uh, has an amazing start into the game. Not only getting off a double hatch before a pool, but then even being able to defend that hatch against the bunker that he did not scout before it was completed. The overlope snipe here is great, but at what cost? I mean, four marines going down, and that limits all the uh, potential aggression that Avilo could throw into the game. That limits everything. I mean, right now, Avilo can basically not move out onto the map anymore. Losing four Marines this early, yes, you kill the Overlord, and that's, of course, great for you, but we have all that lava management already. And there are no Marines left. There are no Marines left, and that's why you lose the Marines. If you go up against an early speed like this, I think he didn't expect speed to be ready. I feel that's really what happened here. Avilo looking at the opening and deciding that there was uh, that there is no speed just yet for Zing Zing, and he has to realize now there was speed. He lost the four Marines. That was the force that he had to, the only force that he had to defend the space. And the bunker here was absolutely beautifully set up for this. But now with the Zerglings taking out the supply depot on the low ground, taking down the mules, forcing a lift on that uh, second C uh, orbital command, it's absolutely devastating. It has a third CC on the high ground, so that helps him a little bit with like getting SCVs into the game and also then muling it up. But right now, Avilo is in such a tough spot. He is so delayed. He's so delayed, and the entire time, I mean, time is working against him. Zing Zing is looking at a three-base economy with, like, gases taken at the natural, at the main base, and now also at the third. In the main, he's taking into Lair. That's already scouted, and just looking at the harvest account, we have 65 against 38. The income here, if you take a look at the income, I mean, this is, he's more than doubling the income, and that is absolutely brutal. So, right now, of course, this low ground once again being claimed by the Terran player, now that he has the Hellions in the match, but that's this is a bad bad spot for Avila to be in. He needs to hope for Zing Zing to make a mistake, and Zing Zing is continuing the style that we saw him execute not only against Avila in game one and two, but also against the Protoss player earlier when he was facing Bones. He's getting this early fourth base. He's really deciding that he has the minerals to do that, and he's dedicating then immediately taking this fourth. So going for that, and uh, well, that is. There comes Blue Flame, but we already have Spire started. We have Drop Play executed. Ooh, sexy! That's a sexy twist. We could see a Roach drop into the main. And you know, one of those old-fashioned, old-school Wings of Liberty styles, 200 supplies Roach drops into the main base? That would probably put an end to Avilo if he doesn't scout it. If that goes unscouted, that could definitely shut him down pretty hard, just because he is playing, he has to play such a passive game now. And that's kind of the style that he's executing anyway, so passive style. Those roaches shouldn't do too much, by the way. One siege tank already there, two siege tanks in the making. Those roaches shouldn't do a whole lot. But they limit the town player's uh, range of movement. And maybe you can snipe, uh, they can snipe a supply depot at you. Not doing too much is one thing, uh, doing nothing is something else. So, uh, no, 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 a little bit more to the left, please. Yep. Where are those siege tanks? There they are. They need to siege up soon. He gets uh, he gets a couple of SCVs. He gets one of the supply depots. He can kill the occasional um, uh, yeah the occasional Hellion, and he's actually moving in. I'm not quite sure if that was the best move by Zing Zing. I I don't think he should have done that. Um, he lost. I feel too much there. He pressured his opponent. How many harvesters did he kill? Only six. I feel just poking there, sniping one or two supply depots, and then moving back when the siege tanks come down that would have been the better move. But in the end, it doesn't really matter all that much, since right now he's already looking at a great, great position here. And those overlords are moving in. We have a lot of roaches right now with a plus one attack upgrade. We have plus two already started. A potential mutilus transition is definitely there. We have the fourth taken. No gases at the fourth just yet. And he seems to be... Dropping on top of the natural, not into the main base. Dropping on top of those siege tanks can definitely uh, do wonders. But now we have so many. We have a lot of. Uh, yeah, we already have a lot of missile turrets there. And he's trying to dodge them. He's trying to drop on top of those siege tanks. The Overlord's not going down. And here come those roaches. He's dropping them. There are not a lot of missile turrets in the main base itself. Siege tank 1 is down. Siege tank 2 as well. Avilo is struggling. Zing Zing is going ham. He's moving roaches into the natural. 
good build order calendar at the start and that's exactly what it was. We talked a little bit about the opening that Avilo used here, barracks in the command center. Zing Zing definitely having the, in the better opening here with a double hatch before pool and then being able to defend it. Congratulations to the Zerg player advancing to the next round of the WCS America qualifier. Great effort by Avilo but in the end it was Zing Zing who turned out to be the better player today.